If it's true that music makes people more in love, keep playing. Give me too much of it, so I'll get sick of it and stop loving. Play that part again. It sounded sad. Okay, stop. It doesn't sound as sweet as it did before. Do you want to go hunting, my lord? Hunting what, Curio? The heart. That's what I'm doing. It is my heart that has been hunted. Ah, yes. Oh, when I first saw Olivia, it seemed like she made the air around me sweeter and more pure. What's going on? What have you heard? I'm sorry, but they wouldn't let me in. Olivia's not going to show her face for the next seven years. She's going to go around veiled like a nun. She's doing this out of love for her brother. Oh, if she loves her brother that much, think of how much she loved me when I finally win her over. And I'll make her forget all of her other attachments. What country is this? This is Illyria, lady. And what am I supposed to do here? My brother is in heaven. Or did he not drown? Do you know? It was a total fluke that you yourself were saved. But maybe by some fluke he was saved too. It's possible, ma'am. Don't give up yet. He was acting courageously and resourcefully in a dangerous situation. Thank you for saying that. Here's some money to express my gratitude. Do you know this area well? Yes, ma'am. I know it well. Who's the ruler here? A duke who is noble in name and character. What's his name? Orsino. Orsino. I've heard my father mention him. He's still a bachelor, but there was a rumor that he was in love with the beautiful Olivia. Who's she? The daughter of a count who died last year. Her brother had custody of her for a while, but then he died too. They say she's totally sworn off men now, in memory of her brother. I wish I could work for that lady. It would be hard to do. She won't allow anyone to see her, not even the Duke's messengers. You seem to be a good person, Captain. I believe that you have a beautiful mind. Please help me conceal my identity. I want to be the Duke's servant. You'll introduce me as a eunuch. Please keep quiet about what I'm trying to do, though. I won't tell anyone your secret. Thank you. Show me the way. What's wrong with my niece? For God's sake, Sir Toby, you've got to come home earlier at night. Olivia disapproves of your late night partying. Ah, she can get used to it. You need to keep yourself within the limits of order and decency. Keep myself? The only thing I'm keeping is these clothes I'm wearing. You're going to destroy yourself with all this drinking. Lady Olivia said so yesterday. She also mentioned some stupid knight you brought in one night as a possible husband for her. Who, Sir Andrew Ogcheek? Yes, that's him. Ah, he has an income of 3,000 ducats. I'll bet he'll spend his whole inheritance in a year. He's a fool and a spendthrift. You shouldn't talk about him like that. He has all the best natural gifts. Right, he's a natural-born idiot. Besides, he's a fool. He's argumentative. Anyone who says that is a lying piece of garbage. Who said that? The same people who says he gets drunk with you every night. Ah, uh, we only toast to my niece. But speak of the devil, here comes Sir Andrew. Bell, how are you? Ah, Andrew, how are you? I'm good. And hello to you, my little witch. Hello, sir. Shut her up, Sir Andrew. What? This is my niece, Maria. My dear Miss Chatterup, I look forward to getting to know you better. My name is Mary, sir. Miss Mary Chatterup. No, you've got it wrong. When I said Chatterup, I wasn't saying her name. I was telling you to go after her, talk to her. Good heavens, I'd never do that with people watching. Is that really what you meant? Goodbye, gentlemen. She's leaving. If you go, if you let her go easily, you don't deserve to use the, your sword again. If you leave like this, my dear, You're I won't ever get to use my sword again. I'm not just talking nonsense to you. I mean everything I say. A girl's got a right to her opinions. Take your, take your hand to a bar and put a drink in it. Why, sweetheart? Is there a hidden meaning in this? You're not holding a glass. Your, your hand is dry, sir. Well, I hope so. I'm not such an idiot that I can't keep my hands dry, but I don't get the joke. It's just a bit of dry humor, sir. Are you always so funny? Yes, I've got a handful of jokes. But oops, when I let go of your hand, I let go of the biggest joke of all. Oh. <laughs> you need a drink. Have you ever been let down like that? Never. I've only been that far down when I've drunken myself under the table. Sometimes I think I'm no smarter than average. I eat a lot of red meat, and maybe that makes me stupid. Absolutely.
If I really believe that, I'd give up red meat totally. By the way, I'm going home tomorrow, so Toby. Pourquoi, my friend? What does pourquoi mean? Does it mean I will or I won't? Ah, oh, I should have taken school more seriously. If you had, you'd have a better haircut. Why would I have fixed my hair? Ah, no question. It won't style itself. But it looks good anyway, doesn't it? It looks great. It hangs down like an old worn-out mop. Listen, I'm going home tomorrow. Your niece is refusing to see anyone. That duke who lives nearby is courting her. She's not interested in the duke. She won't marry anyone of, anyone of higher social class, or anyone who's richer, older, or smarter. So there's still hope for you, man. All right, I'll stay another month. Uh, I'm an odd kind of guy. Sometimes all I want to do is see plays and go out dancing. Are you good at those kind of things? Yes, as any good as any man in Illyria, except for the ones that are better at it than I am. <laughs> How good are you at those fast dances? Believe me, I can cut a caper. And I can cut some, ma some meat to go with the capers. And I can do that fancy backward step as well as any man in Illyria. Why do you hide these things? Why don't you go off to church dancing and come home dancing another way back? If I had those, I wouldn't even pee without dancing a waltz. What are you thinking? Is this the kind of world where we hide our accomplishments? You're a born dancer. Look at how shapely your legs are. That's true. They're pretty strong. And they look pretty good in brown tights. Oh, yeah. Should we throw a little dance party? Why not? We're both born under Taurus. Taurus. That governs the torso and the heart, doesn't it? No, no. The legs and the thighs. Let me see you dance. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. All right. Yeah. Higher excellent. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, let's go dance. If the Duke keeps treating you well, you'll go far. Well, if he keeps treating me well, his mood might change. Here comes the Duke now. Has anyone seen Cesario? I'm right here, my lord. Well, uh, we're going to need some privacy. <clears throat> you know everything about me, so you go to her house and tell her you don't want to leave until you, they let you see her. Um. I'm sure that if she is depressed, she won't let me in. Do whatever it takes. Okay, so let's say I do get the chance to talk to her. What do I do then? Tell her how I love her. Act out my feelings for her. She'll pay more attention to a young guy like you. I don't think so. It's true. You, you know you're the right person for the job. If you succeed, I'll reward you well. I'll do my best, but it's a tough task. Nice. <laughs>